and welcome back guys to another video <clears throat> so I thought I'd give my take on this this is the the 64 mini a for want of a better term plug and play Commodore 64 with 64 games included so I've had this pre-ordered since the pre-orders first became available on Amazon um, so let me just start by prefacing a few things. I'm very well aware of the history behind the people who've created this and their involvement with another retro gaming community product. So this has been getting quite a lot of mixed opinions online and some of which apparently my opinions are wrong and they're correct. So these are just my thoughts. So before I open this up and have a look at it, let me just show you a few things. This is a Raspberry Pi. Yes, with an SD card in it that may or may not contain thousands of games. Hmm, oh, interesting. This is a Commodore 1530 cassette player that plugs into my boxed Commodore 64 that allows me to play real Commodore 64 games on a Commodore 64. This is my zip stick that I play Commodore 64 and Amiga games with. Yes. And this is a boxed Super Nintendo Color. Nintendo Classic Mini from Nintendo. So, here we go. Have a quick look here. So, it's already been about a bit of a jillion of these videos online. So, I believe oh, the price has actually went up since I pre ordered it. Um, 60, 65 when I ordered it. So that works out a pound a game, basically. Yeah, box is a bit of texture. Oh, I was needing that after all. So the 64 was my first ever computer. So I had one for a long time. I had multiple in fact, because uh, Comm Commodore's build quality, despite what people will tell you on the internet, was shocking, and a lot of them went back as broken. Oh, well, I've just ripped the key. That's it. It's useless now. Better throw it away. Ripped it. Not worth a penny. So these are just my thoughts, my opinions. Oh, as I try to get it out of the box. So I've, I've seen some genuine criticisms of it, and I've seen some reviews that maybe are a bit too enthusiastic. Got a look at that. Like the little plastic thing here. So, let's start with the joystick. Apparently the cable's too short and I can see that's a, kind of a criticism that I could probably justify. Um, it does feel a little cheap, I'm not going to lie. Um, Seems nice though. I think that'll certainly be playable. That's just a button drop in there. Having a USB joystick extender, or I've got an interface I can play my real joystick with it. So I know there's a quick start guide in here. HDMI cable. Uh, I believe that's for power. Do you like the smell of the box? So, quick start guide that's reminiscent of the original thingy manual for the Commodore 64. Set up. Nah, fine. So, the mini itself. So, I think that was pretty cool. Yeah. So, criticism number one that I've heard. The keyboard doesn't work. Would you want it to work with keys that size? It's a plug and play console. People are getting a bit... You can plug in a USB keyboard, which most of us have, to play games with the required keyboard. So you've got power, HDMI, two USB ports. I'm assuming you could put a second joystick. Oh, that's for... That seems like a reset button and a power button. Okay. It looks cool. I quite like the look of that. That's very much in the vein of the Super Nintendo Mini, the NES Mini. 
obviously manufactured in China. So another criticism, it will play games from USB, which is nice. It doesn't currently properly support multi-loaded disc games, so multi-disc games. To be frank, I don't know, really know any multi-load disc games that I'd want to play. But maybe that's me just coming from UK, Europe, Scotland, where um, tape games were the norm. So I'm having a look at the back of the box right now. There's some Spin Dizzy is a good game, Eurydium, uh, Hunter's Moon, Temple of Apshai, uh, is that Temple of Apshai? Ah, Temple of Apshai Trilogy. Obviously it's missing some of the big names that you wouldn't like some of the Codemaster stuff, none of the Dizzies are here. Chips Challenge is there, I like Chips Challenge. Monty Mole, Monty Mole on the Run, has it got any of the CG games? No it does not. So I've also heard that the, it's unplayable due to input lag, however modern TVs have a lot of settings including like my, both my TVs have game settings, show it on that and it's a very very big makes a massive difference but I recognize that that's not for everybody I think people have to remember this is a mini console if you are the kind of person that loves to play Commodore 64 games from a 1541 disk drive and have a dedicated Commodore monitor perhaps this is not for you I don't know if it's for me I haven't played it yet this is just my sort of overview and initial thoughts for the price I don't think it's particularly bad. I think 65 was reasonable. Um, I don't see it get it cheaper. Obviously, you'll get the... Yes, this is a Raspberry Pi 3 again. In a case, which cost £2. And the Raspberry Pi was 35 Then you add in a custom SD card. And I suppose I can play thousands of consoles using... Or hundreds of consoles or dozens using RetroPi. But that's nice. I know you can buy little thingy cases like that but then um, anyway I like these lot of things these are nice this will maybe bring the comment uh, then I know there are people who are afraid that this will bring it make them more popular which is fair enough if you're afraid that new people coming to hobby is a bad thing I don't I think it's a great thing bringing new people in I'm certainly tend to play this with my two young children uh, I'm assuming these do something in the game not micro switch, which is a bit of a shame. Didn't I'm actually have tempted to open this up and see what's actually in it. Probably a. Uh... But it's built to price, I'm not gonna lie. Looks cool. Might be fun. So this is just my sort of brief thoughts, overview. I haven't made any, you know, sp I'm not willing to dismiss it out of hand. I recognise there are valid criticisms of it. I'm also, I'm also not willing to say it's the greatest thing ever made. I'm looking forward to trying it out and giving it a damn good shot and I'll maybe do a follow-up video but certainly do like the case. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'd like to hear th your constructive thoughts in the comments below about what you think of the C64 and the C64 Mini, etc, etc. Take care guys. Bye-bye.